Well, there was nothing but elation, John, outside the Bronx Criminal Courthouse tonight when Mamadou Diallo walked out of that courthouse, still in that suit that they give you when you are in custody, to a crowd of supporters. He had at least a dozen people in the courtroom supporting him. As you said, he is criminally charged for the fatal beating of the man accused of trying to rape his wife. His wife was able to make that distress call and call him home. The prosecutors seemed to understand the circumstances of this case. They did not push for a hefty bail. His defense attorney pushed that he be released on his own recognizance. We spoke with that defense attorney, Anthony Michaels. Here's what he had to say. Your client being released. Uh, excellent. I think he should be home, and I'm very happy that we were able to get him out. Uh, everybody sort of recognizes what this case is. And, and what do you recognize this case as? Um, you said I mean, it in court. Say it for us now. Well, I'm just saying he seems like a very decent man. He's absolutely no problem with the law. He's not going out looking for trouble. Trouble came to him, came to his house. People attacked his relatives, and, uh, you know, he responded in a way uh, it's pretty natural. Thank you, Mr. Michaels. Pay attention, because you are about to watch a man accused of attempted sexual assault there, standing with no shirt on, at the very moment he is confronted and then beaten up by the victim's husband. That husband, 61-year-old Mamadou Diallo, is now facing criminal charges and had his first court appearance at Bronx Criminal Court Tuesday evening for fatally assaulting the man with a tire iron after he received a distress call from his wife and raced home to her rescue. You can see Diallo urgently stepping out of the elevator and then using the tire iron to go after the man he believes beat up and then tried to rape his wife. 43-year-old Earl Nash, the man accused of assaulting Diallo's wife, suffered a fractured skull and did not survive the beating. At Nash's home, a man who identified himself as his brother was distraught and would not elaborate on the family's contention that Earl was a diagnosed schizophrenic and was not himself when he allegedly pounded on the Diallo's door, stripped down, beat the woman, and then said he was going to rape her. But although Diallo contends he was defending his wife, he did not catch Nash in the act of assaulting her, which prompted prosecutors to file those criminal charges. Defense attorney Michaels tells me that his client has been in the country for 17 years, a cab driver for the last 15. He supports his wife and his three kids. He is due back in court on June 27th. Tonight, he's back home with his family.